What is up, what if us? Welcome back to the channel. Today I got some of the creepiest, craziest, and most outrageous TikToks that'll make you rethink everything. So you're gonna wanna stay locked in. Cause you ain't gonna believe this. Oh, no one's gonna talk about how CERN is starting back up on April 8th. Of course they are. Uh, of course they are. Of course they are firing up the portal machine on April 8th. Like, like why would they pick any other day? Like, why would they pick the 7th or the 9th or the 10th or the 11th or the 12th or the 13th? No, of course it's going to be on April 8th when we have the solar eclipse and everything else is on that day. Like, of course, CERN, the area, the hydron collider that is literally trying to create black holes, trying to find the God particle, having the statue of Shiva with a portal around her out front of their facility. Of course, April 8th, black hole sun. Yeah. Hmm. I can't anymore. Yes, I can't, you know, I can't, I can't do it. Like, you know, I'm so used to, Oh, nothing's going to happen. Nothing's going to happen. You know, all these date setters, nothing's going to happen. And you know, you know, like I'm still expecting nothing to happen because I've become so calloused and apathetic to everything in this world because all these dates, but like, look what happened. Uh, yesterday, this morning bridge collapses because, uh, a cargo ship blacks out. There you go. Power outage, which we've seen that, uh, predictive programming, right. With the power outages and blackouts and everything. So there you go. And then a bridge collapses. Now everyone has to go to Virginia for a port. And so that sets that up for stuff. Who knows what's going to happen over there. I'm just rambling right now because I, I can't do it. I can't do it every day. Something new every day. We'll see what's going to happen. Um, but, uh, yeah, look more into CERN. It's a, it's fun, fun little, uh, deep dive rabbit hole. Yeah. But, uh, with that guys, we focus <laughs> on the Lord. All right. We focus on the Lord with all of this craziness going on. The Lord will provide the Lord will guide you. So you need to cling to him with all of this information. They are bombarding us. Satan is overwhelming us with information and conspiracies. And we allow the Holy spirit to guide us to all truth, to discern truth from lies and to guide us and to keep us calm. And I'm not doing a good job of that right now because I'm not staying that calm, but, uh, hey, you really are. I'll try to, I'll try to focus on that. Love you guys all so much. God bless. And remember the just shall live by faith. Also, I forgot to add, this is my personal opinion. It's speculation, a theory, and all for entertainment purposes. Yeah, so with that, again, I love you guys all so much. If y'all caught the live, you would know that I said something about that day on April the 8th. Yeah, something is going to happen, but I also said that what if we're going through a black hole? Because if you look up what a black hole looks like, it looks like an eclipse, sort of. Well, the depictions that they have given us looks like an eclipse. So... Well, how do we know that we're not going in a black hole? And he says, nothing's going to happen. No, people say nothing's going to happen. And that's true. We all say nothing's going to happen. I've even said nothing's going to happen. But my reasons for saying that is because even if we did go through a black hole, would we even know? Even if, even when CERN changed events in the, in the, in the, in times timeline, did we even notice it? No, we only noticed after the damage was done. See, you gotta open your eyes, man. That's why I try to give people different perspectives, man. Like, cause you never know. That's why I don't worry about it because a black hole is a black hole and it's going to happen and it's going to happen so fast. You won't even, even recognize it. I mean, just think about that, man. What y'all think though? They forced Diddy's jet to land, right? Did they? The only reason why they forced the jet to land because he's registered to be on the jet, right? Now watch this. When they landed the jet, the nigga wasn't there. Damn. Oh. He's making a act. He, look, I'm going to send you this. Check the text. Look, they forced the jet to land. When they landed the jet, he was not on there. The only reason why they're going to force that jet to land is if he's registered on the motherfucking jet. Yeah, so he must have been on the manifest. Yeah, of course, but you know that's intentional. Wait, wait. Now, Diddy's kids is in handcuffs. Diddy ain't pulled up on none of the crib. Ain't said nothing. And the nigga had himself on the jet to throw the fans off to make them think he was headed one way. 
that nigga had it in nothing. Mm. Nah, did, did, it's no way Diddy did he gonna be trying to run. Like, did he got Bro, too much... they already forced the jet. Look at your text. They forced the jet to land. He wasn't on the jet. You know, like I know, act when you book the jet, you gotta turn in the name of the people that's gonna be on the jet. Everybody gotta be accounted for. So when they seen that jet moving, his name was registered on that jet. They forced the jet to land. Nobody's on the jet. He wasn't on the jet. Just mm. some women. Yeah, but but whack. You know you know which one of the women was on the jet? I, I don't know. I know he was. Fuck. It don't matter. Hold on. Young Miami best friend was on the jet. Yeah, listen, doesn't matter. But he was rich. Right, they're not exclusive. You keep trying to run a young Miami there. Young Miami don't give a fuck. That's his girl they right do. now, and they investigate him for shit to do with girls. Listen, is she on age? Nah, nah. I ain't say she. She ain't complain hey, well, yet. I mean, well, at the day, she ain't on age. What difference do it make? If he fucking her, he fucking her. If he not, he not. Whack, we gonna have to get the paperwork. Her name might be in the... Well, this whole P. Diddy thing is crazy. They even they even call him the diddler now. <laughs> but I don't know what to think about that. You know, uh, hey, you shouldn't have been playing games with those those higher-ups, man. And now they, they, they making you the fall guy. So, hey, it is what it is. So what we not finna do is we not finna act like Ryan Garcia didn't call it on one of his Twitter rants. Mm-hmm. Y'all see it? Something bad is going to happen in Baltimore, Maryland on March 26, 2024. And then exactly in Baltimore, Maryland, on the date he said something bad did happen. This should make y'all think, though, gang, because he also said a lot more stuff in these Twitter rants. Now, I'm not saying that everything that he say, I believe it. But we can't negate the fact that he just said it right here. He said it on Twitter. He also said a lot more stuff that y'all need to pay attention to. Because facts, facts, and all this other stuff are waiting in some shape or form. And y'all remember when he said the June 6th earthquake, bad. Nobody in the comments broke it down. 6, 6, 4 plus 2, that equals 6. Which is, come on now. The craziest part is, them little rants that Ron be going on, it's starting to make sense. But y'all let me know in the comments what y'all think about Ron Garcia's rants. In the comments, like a follow for more wisdom and stay tuned. Follow me on YouTube if you want that exclusive content. Stay tuned. Y'all just people Ron said though. Just people. Why you being weird to me? Where the Homeland Security investigations are set up with their command posts. We've seen not only uh, HSI police, we've also seen a, an FBI agent and a numerous other officers going in and out of the house that is behind it. You can see the beige complex there. That home, we understand, according to property records owned by Sean Combs or Diddy, as he is known, uh, that property, again, being searched at this hour. We also know, obviously, Sean Diddy Combs has properties in Los Angeles and New York. We understand from our, uh, our, our colleagues in Los Angeles that earlier today, a uh, helicopter hovered above one of Diddy's homes there that a similar law enforcement, uh, they showed up there as well to search the property. It's not clear exactly what they're searching for or the details of the investigation. We've asked uh, Homeland Security about that. They're only saying that this is part of an ongoing investigation led by New York, but obviously the properties in Los Angeles and the property here in Miami being searched as we speak. We're going to stay on top of this story and bring you more details as we get it. But back here live, you're looking at, again, HSI police setting up their investigation at this house. You can look and see in the driveway, the gate. Uh, it looks like that gate has been disabled because it's sort of just leaning up against the pillar on the side as they're backing a van up into the property. Again, we're going to try to get... You know what? I just had an epiphany. What if all this P. Diddy stuff and... Uh, Ryan Garcia and all this stuff was to kind of throw us off from what's really happening. Like, has anybody looked up in the sky lately? We already had that little report of the funny looking moon, right? I'm telling you, man, I don't know. I feel like we have gone off course. We, this, this planet has gone off course somewhere and it's headed towards a black hole and we're being sucked in. And that's why they said we're having a total eclipse. But I don't know, man. That's just me. What if, though? Y'all let me know what y'all think. Watch it show itself to us all filming at 1 a.m. I have to make this film because there's a couple things that I wanted to be talking about. Right, honey? Mm -hmm. So, my wife, obviously, she didn't want to participate due to the fact that um, there have been um, 
couple comments towards her, and um, uh, she said she rather stays away from um, what's been going on. So the thing to all this is that um, there has been a couple problems in like criticizing between you know my family and <gasps> what what the fuck you want Things what something back well, let me see what that was something's back where i gotta go back in the kitchen a couple problems and like criticizing i seen it but between you know my family and <gasps> oh yeah i saw what? it with a shadow what the fuck you want Things what something's, something's back there Something's back where? In the kitchen. What the fuck you want? Baby. What do you mean? There's something in the kitchen. Baby, don't fucking scare me like that. What the fuck you doing? What do you mean? I don't know what the fuck that was. What's over there? Huh? What's over there? Baby. What's over there, honey? Baby, I don't want to be in here. This, this shit is fucking with me too much. What's over there? Bro, walk your oh, ass fuck. over there. I feel you like they be... got it set up, man. What's over there? Huh? Walk over there. What's over there? Boy. What's over there, honey? Baby, I don't want to be in here. This, this shit is fucking with me too much. over there oh fuck you gotta be kidding me huh oh my god let's go to the room let's go to the room yeah i don't know what to say about that but what y'all think at this point give me a fucking tinfoil hat because the shit is just off the charts number one do y'all remember how in leave the world behind it started with a massive cargo ship kind of like the one that just crashed into the key bridge number two why was there another bridge that had an accident and caught fire in another major city? These two bridges happened less than three hours apart from each other in different locations. What are the chances that these are major cities and these bridges lead in and out of these major cities and they are all of a sudden being literally destroyed? Along with them telling us that this solar eclipse on April 8th, the National Guard is supposed to be here. We won't have cell service. It's causing a massive upworld due to people trying to get in and out of major cities. I'm just a conspiracy theorist, so don't take everything I say as fact, belief, or to be true, as these are just my own ideas, opinions, and beliefs. Even though I do use real material and articles, I am simply stating what I believe. Are they trying not to allow people to get in and out of these major cities during the eclipse? You guys, this is a depiction of the actual ship from Leave the World Behind. I'm going to show you what it looks like in the movie and the one that just crashed into the Key Bridge. Now, here are multiple photos of the, of the scene that the ship was in and how it was used in Leave the World Behind. And then here is the freaking ship that crashed into Key Bridge. Am I tripping or does that not look the same? Mine is the top that has obviously been taken off. And then hours yeah, after the, the first bridge literally gets rammed into and people are in the water, you have a spontaneous combustion of a massive fire underneath another gigantic bridge. And both of these incidents happened today, Tuesday, March 26, hours apart. And you think that's a coincidence? All of that is happening. And then you have people coming out with articles about the solar eclipse and saying that they are concern over drivers gridlock traffic from out of town flockers to view and even cell phone outages from overload of cell towers large crowd gatherings and increased demand for few food water and fuel are creating a logistic problem for regions across the u.s in the path of totality one thing that's sticking out to me is how they're not emphasizing that you will not or will not probably have cell service during this total darkness eclipse. You couple that with bridges literally being destroyed, like something straight out of a apocalyptic movie where no one's in control, i.e. leave the world behind, and you tell me if you don't need a fucking tinfoil hat too. Again, these are just my ideas and beliefs, and I'm just a conspiracy theory, but the shit is looking real crazy as of today. Well, 
I got to ask you, what are you doing to prepare for it? I mean, it's okay to pe- keep people aware or whatever, but I mean, what are we doing to prepare for it? Get you an NOAA radio, preferably hand crank. Yeah, uh, and some some walkie talkies, man. Now, I don't know about solar flares because if a EMP or a mean solar flare hit and it shortens out things, then none of that stuff is going to matter. But at least you tried to be prepared. Um, None of this stuff can hurt a gun or any kind of firearm, right? So, yeah, definitely have you one of those. Make sure you keep a lot of canned goods, a lot of non-perishable goods to hold you over while you, you know, get your hunting skills up to par. I mean, you know, we don't know what's about to happen. We know something major is about to happen. I, for one, feel like we're going through a black hole. Because why is all of these electronics being threatened to shut down? I mean, just because of a eclipse, it would make more sense that if we were going through a black hole, these things will shut down. Just makes a whole lot more sense. I don't know. But what y'all think? Okay. Well, TCR gave me a video of explosions and uh, I noticed where it hit. There was an explosion too. Here's the video. And this is fucking nuts. It wasn't just the boat. This is entertainment purposes only. Keep watching this area here. Yeah, those explosions yeah, watch the here. fire and the and the, like the uh, molten metal spewing off as the bridge collapses. Watch, goes along. I see watch. The explosion over there too. That, see that? Look, little explosions. Okay. Why is a bridge that's been hit by a ship over there explosion. having explosions over oh, here? Hit too. Keep watching. Here? Let's keep watching it. That's, that's Look. electricity, Bang. man. Explosion, explosion, both at the top and the bottom. Explosion, explosion again. The connection is was. being well, that's more, more, interrupted, more so. smoke coming out of it. Look, on fire as it's going down. There we go, right there on fire. Ready? Look, here's the smoke in the air here. Definitely wasn't Keep watching. Look, watch it again. Mm. Watch. Watch it. Look, fire, 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 fire. See? <laughs> Steam as it hits the wall. Funny, look, more fire. More fire. Loads of fire. They demolished the bridge, people. Wake the fuck up. Distraction story again. Explode. Yeah. I'm going to just wait and now see. Now, let me just say, I was on live when we talked about this. And I was the down. first to say, listen, you got to show me. You got to show me. And yeah, someone did. Um, Funny thing is, where, the, where it hit, you see the first explosion. He only showed you the right side. And he makes a compelling argument by saying, why would a bridge that didn't get hit over here was hit there, but not over here, have explosions on this side? Now, one could argue and say, you know, the metal was bending and made it sparks, but really? Really? Is that the cover story? Really? When? Really? It's interesting, man. That's all I'm going to say. Um, hey. First off, I know this was a targeted event. Second off, we are at war. Third, it's not like saving Private Ryan, and this is of an infrastructure, information, and supply chain. So, yeah, the more you know, share the fuck out of this. Let you and everyone in the world know that it's not what they're saying on the news. We're under attack. Peace to the gods. Okay, one minute y'all say is we're under attack. The next minute y'all say that it's it's it's, it's all because of the the uh, total eclipse. Uh, now y'all saying again that we're under attack. I don't know, man. What y'all think? Oh, you're gonna like this one. So this whole bridge thing and the collapse, it made me think. Wait a minute, wasn't that a scene from the movie that the Obamas produced on Netflix? And yeah, it is. Look, right there. That looks pretty similar, right? So then I'm like, wait a minute. Why are ex-presidents producing movies anyway? So, of course, I had to ask Alexa. Alexa, how many films has the Obamas produced? Might answer your question. I know about 119 Barack Obama movies, including Leave the World Behind, Before the Flood, Fahrenheit 11 Nights, and Rusty. Netflix has announced a deal with Barack Obama and Michelle Obama, which will see the pair producing films and TV shows for the streaming giant. I just don't trust Netflix. 
Barack and Michael, I do. They're great. And then I'm asking Alexa, just as a joke, maybe the government has an entire film industry and they're just always been pushing films on us for propaganda purposes only and education and entertainment. I just asked her as a joke. And then it turns out the freaking Pentagon has an entire film company funded by the Department of Defense. Can't make it up. Alexa, has the Pentagon created Hollywood films? From online.org. It is estimated that the Pentagon has assisted in producing over 500 Hollywood films since the creation of the Department of Defense in 1947. I bet you anything one of them was The Truman Show and The Matrix. <sighs> and the thing about Google and uh, Alexa, one thing I like about Alexa, Alexa going to tell you that I got this from this website. I'm not telling you anything, but this is what this website says pertaining to the question that you ask. Now, whether that's real or fake, I'm not telling you that it's real or fake. You have to make that assumption. And people don't even realize, bro, you still got to do your own research. So I would have went to that actual website where Alexa got its information from. And I would have read it myself. And I would have compiled the information. And I would have uh, broken it down to see if any of the information was valid. But... Just going off what Alexa tell you now, nah, man. I know they do this, a lot of this stuff for entertainment and a lot of this stuff for, uh, you know, TikTok. So, you know, it is what it is. My apologies in advance, but you can't tell me that this looks like an accident. I mean, take a look at the angle in which it takes in order to hit that bridge. Now, I decided to ask artificial Maybe intelligence an program called Copilot from Microsoft Bing search engine what the effects of this bridge collapse will have on the economy and the surrounding areas. And the answers should be very alarming, but also not surprising. Check this out. An average of 4,900 trucks per day carry $28 billion worth of goods. Those are now going to need to be rerouted due to the bridge collapse. And the greatest impact is expected on hazardous materials such as diesel fuel, and we're already having problems with gas prices. This is only going to make things worse and set things back as it pertains to gas prices. But there's more, of course. The bridge plays a crucial role in the nation's infrastructure and the supply chain. The disruption is going to have long-lasting effects. Baltimore serves as the largest entry point in the U.S., for a large agriculture and construction equipment, including tractors, farming combines, bulldozers, and heavy-duty trucks bound for the Midwest, the farmland of America. Let's visit that now. Because this collapse comes just during the peak of planting season in the Midwest. And once again, it's going to affect the farming and the food. Additionally, construction activities also pick up in colder climates as the ground thaws. The economic impact extends beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting businesses, jobs, and regional stability. But there's more. The bridge's collapse affects the entire supply chain, including the movement of agricultural equipment, fertilizers, and other essential materials. Farmers may face challenges in receiving necessary supplies, leading to potential delays in planting, maintenance, and harvesting. The economic repercussions extend beyond immediate costs, potentially affecting crop yields, prices, and again, regional stability. I want to hear from you what you think about this. No, not this predictive programming, but I want to know what you think about this taking place last night and what it's going to do to the country moving forward share this video with everyone that you know well if everybody got their stuff together it wouldn't affect the country too much buy seeded fruits save the seeds replant them period make your own fertilizer by creating a compost bin and you can make a compost and you can make compost with the things around you yeah it might hurt the farmers but let's be honest here, people. Has the food that the farmer's been producing been any good lately? Hell, I'd say it's a win because we ain't got to intake all of that badass food anymore. But I digress. What y'all think? While everyone was distracted by P. Diddy, which is something major and big and plays a huge part in what's happening and going on, let me say this. Joe Biden said is he, if he has to step down, he wants Barack Obama 
to step forward. Because like how though? And Joe Biden has a weird bromance. Remember, Barack Obama already did two terms. He can't get reelected again. Trump did one term. If Obama takes the seat at any time before election, or somehow Trump can't be reelected, somehow, some, some way, some magically mysterious, and Barack Obama takes position, you already know what the hell time it is. Period. The solar eclipse is on April 8th. They want to match the energy that is about to transpire. And they feel Barack Obama is the best way to go. Oh man, we in some we in some shit right now. We are in some shit right now, man. We are in some shit right now. Major things is happening. There's a reason why there's so much big, huge distractions going on. Election is coming up. Solar eclipse is coming up. Did y'all not see what's going on in Israel? Okay? Israel looking to come at the United States. Everybody is about to turn on Israel, United States, everyone. Oh my gosh. Y'all better get ready and buckle y'all seats. Heading towards election April 8th going forward. Be on the lookout. Don't go to work that day, I said. School is not going to be open that day. I'm telling you for a reason. And they tell you to be aware of demon face syndrome. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That. We're about to see what's going to happen. Buckle your seatbelts and stay prayed up. Yeah, it's wild out here in these streets, bro. And uh, I'm going to just say this, man. How convenient that the country that everybody seemingly seems to hate and wants to fight and go against is the U.S. Also, how funny would it be if this one country was the reason why all of this evil stuff and, and the unbalance in, the, in nature is actually happening? Because the energy is energy is definitely weird over here. It's definitely weird. It ain't peaceful. You have to find peace within yourself and within your own within the confines of your own area. But but the, but there's no peace in America at all. There is no peace and you'll never get the peace because it's just way too much chaos. Way too much chaos. Tracking P. Diddy. So believe it or not, some weird things, some coincidences start rolling up in the mix, and it appears as if he was able to leave his house before the search warrant, before the feds came to raid him. He was able to leave. He already knew. He already hopped up in, he bunny hopped in his Gulfstream and headed to the Caribbean islands where there's no extradition treaty with America. So the great question, how did he know he was about to get raided by the feds? Seems like P. Diddy has some inside information with the feds somehow. It's just speculation, of course. He's right down there, Diddy. We still see you. By the way, the ability to track these days is outrageous. Has anybody seen TV Jakes today? I'm not sure about this part, but I'm pretty sure that those are two of his kids. So, like, you have inside information, you know they're coming, and you still leave them in the house knowing what you're doing in your house? That's crazy. Again, this is why apparently we have this feud going on with the rap community. Everything we're seeing right now very well could be the great expose, so that great false light can walk up and then clear the evil from the world. Yeah. What is that being eclipsed right there? Somebody tell me. Because right above that is the moon. Right here. That's the moon right there. So it ain't the moon being eclipsed. It's something out in the sky being eclipsed that is here. Everything is here right now. And y'all can keep playing. I know you Christians are listening to me. Idolatry. He was very ill at the time. He had a respiratory issue. Now, Sean David Morton also heard, from, uh, also heard I can't verify this veracity, that it's some sort of... Uh, a debilitation or disease with its heart lung sac it does not have a traditional heart it's got a heart lung one sac which was the need for the special monitor which goes up and down does not go across uh, to monitor this bizarre heart lung one sac organ that the alien has and um, behind the viewing glass were five men two telepaths uh, there are 
there are, is a researcher out there, and I don't doubt it, and because I've seen the outline of the figure, um, and I didn't catch this, and someone else did, so I'm crediting them. I don't ever want to not credit other people. That Colin Powell was in that interview room. Now, I know that sounds crazy. I can't verify it, but it certainly looks like the outline. Of course of you can't. It looks like an African-American male in his 50s wearing an Army Class A dress uniform. Funny, the rear admiral that was on my list was uh, the person that uh, reported intelligence to the Joint Chiefs of Staff. Boy, that's so fake. Man. But that, that's just how bizarre this film has gone. And I'm not even going to tell you anything about the telepaths because I don't want it to get into the Da Vinci Code. But even Doty said that the telepathic program people they hired was ridiculous. They were like one step above 1-800 psychics back in the 80s and 90s. Um, but there was two men in particular that were very in touch with these beings. And they would sit down with these aliens and these beings and immediately get information and, and relate it back to whoever, whatever military person was in the room. As you can see on the tape, the, the bean eventually starts to, to, to medically flag, if I can use the whistleblower Victor's terminology, and he is then attended to by the medical staff. And, and Victor tells us that the medical staff in S2 and S4, you know, are more chosen for their ability to keep secrets than their medical knowledge. And again, I have been in contact. I have the names of the two doctors that are going to be on each, either side of this being on the bottom, you're going to see DNI slash 27. Uh, that is the Department of Naval Intelligence. According to Richard Doty, there's like a conga line of different agencies waiting to insert this, their questions to this being in a, in the two hour long interview. They, the interviews are, are conducted about once, once a month. And you know what's weird, bro? That if that is real, and, it, and they done done these things multiple times, according to, you know, conspiracy theories, they have taken these little creatures and they have examined and killed them and all of these different things. Bro, I wouldn't be surprised if it won't be a galactic war, if that's a real thing. Maybe that planet that they say is here in our solar system is their planet and they just coming back to do everything that the people here did to their people i don't know man but it just looks fake to me could be real but i don't know okay there's definitely more to this story i live in texas in a direct path of this eclipse in the last eclipse no one even showed up back in october there were a few people on the highways they expected large crowds nothing happened no big deal city wasn't planning for anything now they've declared a state of emergency. And this is the bulletin the city is sending out to the residents to prepare for the April 8th eclipse. Tell me how this makes any sense. If we had an eclipse in October and nothing serious happened, hardly anyone showed up, but this time they've declared a state of emergency. And this is how they want us to prepare. I've also heard of counties in Oklahoma bringing in National Guard for a celestial event? Why would we not have cell service for days on end? Why would we need to supply food and water and gasoline? Why would we expect the 911 services to be done? None of this makes any sense for a normal natural event. There's something serious that they know about, they're trying to warn us about, they're not telling us about, in my opinion. I just feel like it's evil that they wouldn't tell us. Hey, look, the world is about to blow up. So y'all get y'all stuff together because we don't know if it's really going to happen. But just in case it do, make sure you have your stuff together. What's all right about that? And if people start to panic, oh, well, oh, freaking well. Y'all always trying to protect y'all stores and, and stuff. Because if the world, if, if something major like that is going to happen, none of that ain't going to matter. I don't know, man. Imagine your vision is totally normal, and then one day you see demonic features everywhere. It's totally normal, and then one day you see demonic features everywhere you turn, just like this. Just like this. New, rare, newly discovered. Or are some just seeing things for what you probably are? 
So rare, only 75 cases. Extremely rare yet terrifying disorder called PMO. Now known because people didn't know about it at first. It's called the demon face syndrome. People with the condition see parts of other people's faces distorted in shape, texture, position, or color. The term schizophrenia has been tossed around. Where does that fit in? It, it doesn't fit in here because in this situation, uh, this is just visual distortion, whereas with schizophrenia, a lot of times people have delusional faults and beliefs. You know, it's crazy. People, a lot of people think they're trying to hide because they're hiding something that says that, okay, demons are going to appear and people are going to see it. And if you say that you see a demon, then you're suffering from this illness right but i for one think that i'm back with it again y'all i honestly think that it's gonna be and i could be wrong but i believe that we're probably gonna go through a, a black hole and what black hole does is does it it bends light right so of course things are gonna look skewed and 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 weird and oddly shaped to everybody because you're going to literally be going through a black hole. I don't know, man. <laughs> what y'all think, though? A lot of people are starting to believe that something major is going to happen in our world that's directly correlated with the solar eclipse coming up in April. This started after reports began circulating that extensive measures will be taken prior to the solar eclipse, including school closures, the National Guard being deployed in some counties, and officials in Texas warning people to stock up prior to the event. And even though most of these measures are being taken in preparation for the large crowd that the solar eclipse will draw in, this has not stopped people from believing that some of these measures are a bit extreme and coming up with theories that something more is happening on the day than we're being told. Theories range from some people believing that the US will get hit with a solar storm knocking out the power grid or internet, to others believing that the world is about to go through three days of complete darkness and then enter a new age. Now obviously we won't know for sure if anything will happen until the day of the solar eclipse, but I did find something interesting that a lot of people aren't talking about. According to scientists, a solar maximum is also supposed to take place this year, which means that the sun will be at a heightened level of activity and its poles will shift. This heightened level of activity could lead to solar flares or storms that may hit Earth's electromagnetic field and lead to power outages. There was even a solar flare last week that caused a radio blackout, but maybe it's all just a coincidence. Leave a like and let me know what you think about this in the comments. Fives. This eerie video comes from Creepy Outdoors on YouTube. I'll tag him below. And his channel focuses on ASMR-like content in the wooded areas of Canada. And he does this alone while listening out for the wildlife surrounding him. But this time, what he heard could not be mistaken for wildlife. But this is a good reminder why you should never hike alone. I'll let the rest of the clip play, but let me know. What would you do in this situation? Oh, fuck. What? Oh, hi. What the hell? Bro, where your light at, bro? I need to get out of here. Oh, boy. Oh. Okay, that was fucking creepy. I need to get out of here. It could have been campers, but this area is extremely secluded. I need to get back to camp. Hey man, going crazy out here with these aliens, man. This is them abducting people in Atlanta. Just stole a whole bunch of big legged black women out of Atlanta. Sucked them up into a ball of light, and they gone, man. I don't know what we gonna do. They gone. <laughs> hey, man. <laughs> he said a big, a big, a bunch of big black women. <laughs> no, no. A whole bunch of big legged black women out of Atlanta. <laughs> Sucked them up into a ball of light, and they gone, man. I don't know what we gonna do. They gone. <laughs> Ah, uh, this is some stuff I would do. I wonder what she's talking about. Probably the Obama thing. <laughs> Public place, you did it. Is this the best or the worst? The best. Probably the Obama thing. <laughs> he didn't want her to say that. Oh, God. Oh, God. John? 
What? What? What is? What is your wife talking about? I don't know. We're not we talking know. about it. That's the truth. That is an awesome. Wonder why? We know what she's talking right about. Not the, it was not at the White House. Hundred percent yeah. not the White House. He was not elected. Pieces yet. and hot yeah. dogs. Okay. Anyway, we're moving on. I'm in trouble now. No. Here we have an email discussing that the White House is flying in $65,000 worth of hot dogs and pizza. Chrissy Teigen deleted 60,000 tweets. If the person okayed it, I would eat a human. Only way you I wouldn't would. try a tiny bite? No. No. Really? Absolutely not. So How is that tell normal? me about Joe. What do I need to know? Like, what's the thing about the ice cream? Ice cream is big. Uh, pasta with red sauce. He, he, can, he, he can go deep. On that. <laughs> you know, you know. Oh, wow. Boy, they just wild up there in the White House. Boy. Them politicians is wild, boy. We're following breaking news out of Russia. ISIS is claiming responsibility for an attack that killed at least 40 people ISIS and injured more than 100 wow. others following a mass shooting at a concert hall near Moscow. Video from inside the Caucasus City Hall shows multiple gunmen opening fire in that venue. Russian state media says the attackers stormed in wearing camouflage and opened fire before that concert started. They also used grenades and other explosives that touched off a large fire at that facility. At a concert, though. How convenient. They always attack where they know people are going to gather in massive numbers. Sad situation. I don't know what he's saying. This picture I'm about to show you now, I'll just put a video uh, on TikTok and it got taken straight off FYP. So I'm going to do it again. I'm going to share the picture in a minute. I shared it straight away at the beginning of the video. It didn't get on the FYP. Now the 4chan was shut down after this picture was shared. It's very, it's quite a compelling picture. And if you zoom in on it, it doesn't look like a fake body. You know, them, them eyes look very real. Um, so please take a look at this picture. Let me know what you think. This is the picture here now. I'm going to share it now quickly. Damn. I got the little play button in the middle, but I don't know. There's the picture. And I'm going to share the video in a minute at the end as well, so you can have a look at it. All I'd ask you to do is like, share, and comment, and get this out there because it was quickly taken off. Someone sent me this on a, a DM. I it was taken off 4chan, 4chan was shut down. Definitely it was put on Reddit, Reddit was thumb, shut down, yeah. the picture wasn't seen again. People had to download this picture. If you Just put this, try and put this picture on TikTok, there is no such thing on TikTok with this picture in there. Nothing whatsoever. So this is the first time you're going to see this on this platform. I apologize. I'm suffering with acid and my throat is killing me. So please just do what I say, like, share and comment. The reason I ask that is it will get more people to see it. It will go more viral, hopefully, and harder to delete. So please share it. That's all I try and do. Do I think the video, the picture's real? I don't know. I do not know, but it is. If you zoom in on it, it is quite compelling. Is it real? I don't know. What do you think? I've not seen this picture before. Never come across this picture before. So thank you to the person that inboxed me with this picture. I don't know about that, but let me go and do my own little research right quick. Not even, not even no major research, but um, yep, found it. Told y'all, you can't believe everything you see on the internet. You gotta do your due diligence and learn how to use these search engine engines to your benefit. So I found it. It that picture was actually a, uh, I think a deep fake picture according to what i just found and uh off of the x file from i guess season 10 i don't even watch x files but yeah i just found that due to photo recognition and 
And what they did was they found out that somebody actually made the alien that was actually on the table look like something else. And what I'll do is I'll put that link where you can go on there and look and you can slide the sliders back and forth and see what type of editing they did. So, yeah, man, in these times, you cannot believe everything, bro. You cannot. And it's a scary thing because... You can be super misled, bro. You can literally be misled. And uh, I don't like that. But I digress. But I'm going to say this and I'm going to leave it here. All right. Hold your horses. Chill out. Relax. Wait. Broaden your perspective. Because it might not be the end. It just might be the beginning. It might be the end for a certain people, though. You know, because sometimes the world has to rid itself of evil. Correct? So, yeah, that's what I'm hoping for. Now, if we all got to go, we all got to go because we all have commit sin in, in some way, some way, some way, shape, form or fashion. But at this point, we are uh, I would believe I would like to believe that people that are watching this video and I am seeking change. And we don't want to be like our old selves. Uh, we made mistakes and we had to learn from those mistakes. And now we're on a, a path uh, to become better people. Right. So, yeah, uh, I believe that a certain people are getting judged you know hopefully it ain't us us old conspiracy theorists right but you just have to you know stay positive and uh for all my christians stay prayed up and you know uh you know keep the faith everything's gonna be all right man it's a lot of stuff out here that's going on and even if we do end up going through some black hole or, or the power ends up going out during this total eclipse we gonna be all right you have to remember our ancestors survived the Stone Age. So if they can do it, we can too. And like I always say, do what you will with that information. And hey, if you like what you saw, make sure you like, comment, subscribe. Turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Turn it on because a lot of y'all been complaining that you didn't even get the notification for my live. So turn on that notification bell so you know when I upload. Make sure it's turned on to all. And remember, challenge the argument and not the person.